So in this class, let's talk about how to calculate the circumference of a circle. Um, I would like to assume that everybody knows how to calculate that. So I'm going to do that in this class. And this is like the foundation that will help us in cutting our circle ball gown. Okay, what we are doing is a single circle ball gown. So first of all, what we need is our waist circumference. So that's the waist circumference of your client uh or of your bride in this case so let's take it that the waist circumference we are working with in this class is um 28 inches okay so if you have 28 inches what we are trying to calculate is a 360 degree circle because um the 360 degree circle is fuller than the 120 180 is fuller than the 90 degree so we are using the 360 and that's that's the full circle 360 degrees full circle 180 degree is half circle so we are calculating for a full circle and the formula for calculating that is circumference so i'm just going to abbreviate the circumference circumference equals to 2 pi r this is a fixed way of calculating for a circle even in mathematics <laughs> All right, so circumference now what we'll do, we input our waist circumference, which is 28. Please follow me. So this is 28 inches equals to 2. This 2 pi r is the same thing as 2 times pi times r. Okay, so and pi, this is pi. Pi, um, the value for pi, pi is 3.14. Okay, so I'm just going to put that. 3.14 is a fixed um value for pi from the inception or from the beginning of age <gasps> all right then what we are looking for is the radius of this our circle so we have the so when we calculate this times dx we get 2.28 times r then we bring back our 28 so what we need is to keep r let r stand alone but this is disturbing r it's just clinching with r so we have to find a way to take this off and leave r alone all right so what we are going to do by doing that is to divide both sides by 6.28 at least if we divide it will cancel out this and we can have r standing alone okay so we have we can now bring r to the opposite side of the equals to sign then you can divide 28 by 6.28 all right what i have is 4.45 so now that we have this measurement, we have gotten our radius. This is 4.45. We are going to add this radius to the skirt length that we calculated in the measurement video. Remember, if you watch the measurement video, there is um, where we calculated and we got 53 as the entire length that we need for to cut our, our skirt, the ball part of the skirt. Um, that includes the EU measurement, EU length, and then the allowance we gave when the when the hoop skirt carries up our full ball gown so um we add a total of 53 so it's going to be 53 plus 4.45 why are we doing this whatever we get here is what we would it will help us in the um layout the cutting when we are cutting you will see how it makes our work very very easy you don't have to stress when you do i always say that this is like the uh, cutting plan that you're doing you know so when you do this cutting plan it's very easy when you go to your when you get to your cutting table and you can just start cutting it takes you just few minutes to cut okay so when we do this this is not the total measurements we'll be cutting out for to make the skirt but this is what we'll be used to using to lay out the fabric okay so if we have 53 plus 4.45 we have um that will be 57 plus 0.45. So for the purpose of this class, I might just change it to, um, I can just approximate it to 5. Okay, 4.45. When I check it on the measuring table, it's very close to 5. So I'm not reaching everything, anything. So this is 57. Am I correct? Yes, this is 57.5. So let me change this to 5 so that you will not say, oh, there was a mistake somewhere. So... 57.5 so this is what i'm going to lay out on my fabric however when i lay out on my fabric this is what i am going to measure as my radius and this is what i'm going to measure 
as my skirt length okay i want to explain orally orally or theoretically <laughs> i don't say a lot of english but i'll explain here then before we go to where we are going to cut okay so explain how it is now possible for us to be able to cut um a 360 degree circle skirt with just 16 inches length of fabric now just in case you don't understand how what i'm explaining i will break it down again now we need this entire length on one part i mean on each part of our circle that's what this means and remember that the entire length of our fabric is just 60 inches and remember that when you're cutting a 360 degree circle skirt you have to fold the fabric into four <laughs> all right you have to fold the fabric into four so you are going to fold one side into into two and then the other side you also flip into two so it means that if the fabric you, you are working with is 60 inches length by the time you fold the fabric reduces to 30 inches all right are, are you getting it now are you getting the trick now the the fabric in reduces to 30 inches so it means that whatever you are cutting what you have left to work with is 30 inches <laughs> and then look at our calculation we have 57.5 to work with are you are you i'm about to review the secrets now so please pay attention carefully so you have 60 inches so how then do we cut without having to join okay i didn't i didn't remember to put that that you would not you won't join at the m like all those curve joining that we do you can't do that in bridal maybe it's allowed with other dresses like ashebi dresses where you just join on the part that is you are curving and then the length is not enough you just um get the pattern of that part <clears throat> get the pattern of that part and then just patch it or attach joining you can't join okay so i'm going to review to you what we are going to do and also explain how that will be done with just seven years. all right so first of all i'm going to draw out a sample of the fabric um okay so we are picturing that this is our fabric what i just drew here this is the length of 60 inches so let me clean this part since we're already done with this and i will just leave this last one so that we can refer to it so this is the length of 60 inches and then let's say that this is um one yard here another yard here another yard here and okay let me increase it because we need to have about 3.5 okay so let's say this is one yard another yard another yard and this is half yard so this is one yard two yards and this is 3.5 yards this place is 60 inches length so what we have here is 3.5 yards this, this fabric is not folded okay please picture this as your fabric this fabric is not folded we have 3.5 by 60 inches now we already know that each um fabric if each yard is 36 inches one yard equals 36 inches so we have it like that now remember that we are going to cut this by we're going to cut this by what by 360 and you have to fold your fabric in so forth now i have to fold in a way that i have 57.5 on each part so here must be 57.5 here must be 57.5 here must be 57.5 the other part also has to be 57.5 do you understand but when you fold this way this is 60 when i fold this way this becomes 30 inches so it's it, it makes it impossible for me to have 57.5 and i and i don't you know when you fold like this and you fold this way when you fold you can still get your 57.5 but when you fold like this 
you won't get that's why some people now join at the bottom but you can't join at the bottom with bridal so what we do is um you now introduce because this is 60 inches this is the part where you have the issue so the solution to this which is the secret i'm about to reveal to you right now is that you find a way to increase this length so what i would do here is to introduce another three and a half yards of fabric and join it along this place so we are working with the fabric this part is the part that is your salvage area where they measure by yards so you take another 3.5 yards of fabric and join it here do you understand what i'm saying so now somebody will ask me oh i thought you said there should be no joining of course the joining you will still not see because now this joining we are putting is going to be a seam joining i don't know if you understand what i mean by that it's going to be a seam joining like the, the it's going to be a straight joining not a the one that is curved or is horizontal it's going to be a straight joining that will serve as a seam and because you are working with a circle gown that is full it's not going to be visible because the fullness is going to cover up that seam line do you understand so what you are going to do is i'm going to have another 3.5 yard fabric and join here so by the time i join at this edge part this part has another 60 inches so 60 inches plus another 60 inches i have a 120 inches yard of fabric do you understand that so let's even say oh when you join you're probably joining half inch half inch that's one inch you are still reducing just one inch from the two so in indirectly you are reducing half inch from the two so i say 59.5 59.5 but this is just like about 120 inches length that you have so how do i now cut when i have joined now you have the 120 in, um 60 inches up i fold it to meet this one by the time i fold now picture what we have here as a folded fabric so let me see if i can do a pictorial representation of that so let's say this comes like this this comes like this so that at least you can your imagination can drive that oh this is on fold now okay so please but you know when you're putting your fabric on fold they have to match together i only just left the space so that you can have the imagination of oh it's now two fabrics on fold okay so now we have it on fold you will definitely see the joining that this place is going to be the wrong side where you joined okay so now that you've done that i can still now bring this so I will, on this place i would measure 57.5 and flip to the other side to have it now folded into four all right so once i'm now done with that i can now measure my radius Oh, uh, okay and so let's assume that this is because i don't think i need to also draw to show that it's folded into four again so but i can now um let's assume this is now folded into four so measuring my radius my radius here is 4.5 so from here i'm measuring 4.5 as well please note that um we're supposed to add sewing allowance because let's um say that you are going to add a zipper at the back on your ball part and maybe allowance for your zipper is one inch so we're supposed to add one inch to that waist measurement our waist measurement is 28 so you just add one inch that will be half half on both sides okay one inch that's 29 so your waistline will now be 29 so the 29 now includes this um zipper allowance so this will now be 29 divided by 6.28 then you run down everything that we did again so your radius might be a bit um bigger than this so please note that remember to add your seam allowance okay so but let me still work with this all right so 4.5 so from this center point i'll measure 4.5 so let's say i'm marking like this i'll measure it round all right until i get to this point so once i'm done i'll go ahead take my tape and measure around this place it should give me half of my i mean it should give me quarter of my waist measurement so if my waist measurement is 28 this should give me when i measure it should give me seven because this is folded into four so each of the pieces that are folded should be seven so by the time i do seven multiplied by the four pieces it should give me back 28 all right so by the time i'm done with that then i can go ahead 
So what I like to do is most times what we do is from here, you now measure this 53, right? From here, you measure 53, measure 53, you keep going. But I can also advise that you measure it from here because it gives kind of gives a round, a more rounded shape at the M. So measuring from here, you can't definitely measure 53 from here. It's going to be shorter. So what you measure is now this measurement plus this because you are taking it all the way from here. Yes, it's passing through the radius. So what you have is 57.5. So you measure from here, 57.5, 57.5, and you know, all the way. Do you understand? So by the time you do this, um, you know this already has the measurement. Okay, this already has the measurement. I can also recommend that you take your waist joining measurements from here. So when you measure, this is your waist measurements, go up by half inch for your waist measurements so that when you are sewing, you know, when you come down, if you leave it here and then do your half inch here, when you are sewing, this place now increases your waist measurement. Okay, so you want to ensure that when you are sewing, this is exactly where you measured your waist circumference is where you are sewing. So this place serves as your half inch. All right, so I've said a lot of, a lot of things. Let's move to cutting now.